NFL, Week 12, Jags, Texans. Texans have owned this series versus the Jags since 2018. They're 8-3 against the spread, which includes the win uh, versus the Jags earlier this season back in Week 3. Houston won by 20 points, but the Jags won that box score. They had seven more first downs and outgained them in total yards. Texans do become the first team to cash their regular season win total. The win total for Houston was five and a half wins. They got six wins before Thanksgiving. This is definitely a team that has outperformed expectations. And there's a pretty big adjustment from the first meeting back in week three. The Jags were seven and a half point home favorites. And the current line for this game is Jacksonville road favorites of one and a half. The total has also adjusted up significantly. First meeting, the total closed around 43 and a half. This game we're seeing 47 and a half, which is rare to see uh, in a divisional rematch because both teams are familiar with each other and defenses usually have a better game plan to stop one another. So normally in rematches, we see the total lower, but Houston's offense has changed a ton since early this season. They're probably the most obvious over team in the league. And speaking of overs, Houston's game last week versus Arizona was probably the most painful loss for over betters. Definitely for me this year. Houston put up huge offensive numbers and should have scored more points. They had six drives that ended inside Arizona's red zone that resulted in zero points. Stroud's taking criticism for his three INTs in that game, but none of them were bad throws. I mean, you can't do anything about if the ball hits the receiver in the hands and deflects off into a defender's hands. For the Jags last week, their offense put up 34 points on the Titans. They dominated the box score, won the turnover battle. It was a one-sided game, but the Jags had so many big plays to keep drives going, converting on you know several third and long situations. They went for it on fourth down four times and converted three of them, and all these plays led to scores for Jacksonville. Uh, the takeaway from this is it's just not sustainable offense. No team will have success every week converting on drive-ending plays like they did consistently. I like the Texans in a teaser leg this week, teasing them up from plus one and a half to seven and a half through the key numbers of three and seven. I did get burned betting against the Jags last week. I got caught up in the rumors of Trevor Lawrence knee injury, but I think what gave those rumors life was how Jags head coach Doug Peterson reported it. Um, this was after the Bengals were getting attention from the league for not reporting Joe Burrow's wrist injury. So Doug Peterson went overboard with how he reported Lawrence's injury. Um, I do think Trevor Lawrence is dealing with a knee injury. He has been playing with a brace on his knee, but what's really strange is we're seeing designed QB runs called for Lawrence. Um, he had four different designed runs in the red zone last week. Not something a play caller would be doing for uh, a QB that's banged up. But I like the over in this game too, but I think it might have moved too much now. It's uh, crossed that key number of 47 play a prop I really like Calvin Ridley overs last game versus the Titans they started moving Ridley around more running more routes out of the slot which is where he's had success mostly in his career and he had a big game also the matchup sets up good Ridley is the Jags primary option when playing zone coverage the Texans defense primary plays zone um, Christian Kirk gets the ball more versus man coverage Kirk's numbers against man and zone are night and day, so I think Ridley has a big day. That's all I got for this one. Until next time, good luck with your bets.